the Loop Animation Image Modifier allows a specific segment of an animation to be repeated in a loop. Let's disable this modifier to look at the original video of people throwing hats in the air. By enabling the modifier again, we see that the beginning of the video is played in a loop. The start time parameter defines the start of the segment that will be repeated in a loop. This is followed by the duration parameter, which defines the duration of the segment from the starting point. We define a segment starting at 0 seconds and lasting 1 second, which will be repeated immediately afterwards. Note that the image at 1 second is part of this initial segment. If we want to repeat the segment at exactly 1 second, we will have to define the duration with one frame less. By changing the start time parameter value, we shift the selection of this initial segment, indicating, for example, that we want it to start at 2 seconds. The video segment that will be played in a loop throughout the composition will therefore start at 2 seconds and have a duration of 24 frames. We can now see that the loop segment was taken from the original video a little later. A second mode lets you define this initial segment. Rather than using a start point and a duration, we can switch to custom mode to define a start and end timecode. Let's switch to custom mode and define the origin segment as lying between the first second and the fourth second. By disabling this modifier, we can inspect the original segment in the video. Now that we know what this segment represents, we enable the modifier again and watch it play in the loop. Having the ability to temporarily offset a layer, the question is whether or not the definition of this initial segment will take this offset into account. This is the purpose of the start and time space parameter. In param local mode, the time base is that of the layer, so we'll define this initial segment according to the start of the video carried by the layer. In composition mode, the time base applied to a layer will be taken into account since the time base is now the start of the composition. We are now going to define how we want to repeat the segment defined by the previous parameters. We see that the before and after modes are currently in repeat mode, which means that when we are outside this original segment, we will repeat it in a loop. But we have other repeat modes applicable to this segment defined between 2 seconds and 4 seconds. Rather than using the repeat mode, we change it to hold. We are now retaining the last image of this segment. Note that the before parameter is still in repeat mode. We can therefore define two different behaviors between what happens before and after the original segment. The mirror mode lets you play this sequence backwards and forwards in a mode similar to what it's sometimes called bounce, especially in the reader options. The repeat count parameters before and after determine the number of times we will repeat this segment. The value 0 defines that we will repeat it indefinitely regardless the layer's duration. If we increase the duration of the composition and move this visibility key to the right, we can play the segment in mirror mode with unlimited time. Let's go back to the loop animation modifier and remember that the segment is defined between 2 seconds and 4 seconds. We can then indicate that after the original segment, we want to repeat this segment twice. Let's go back to repeat mode to see how it works. For a value of 0, the animation is repeated without any limit to infinity. We see that the end of this original segment is at 4 seconds. If we play the playhead at this time code and set the after repeat count to 1, we'll play this segment once from here, then hold the first frame of the next segment. If we now set this value to 2, we'll play this segment once after the original segment then a second time, then hold the first frame of the next segment. Take the time to experiment with this parameter to fully understand how it works. After setting this parameter to 4, we can count the number of loops. 1, 2, 3, and 4 times before retaining the first frame of the next segment. 
We can also define non-integer values to stop a loop before the end. We notice that when we don't reach the next value, we hold the last frame without starting a new loop. Rather than defining an integer value such as 4, we can enter 3.99 to keep the last frame of the segment. In the same way, the before repeat count parameter can be used to define the number of loops to be played before this original segment.